Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great weekend. Championship week is wrapping up in college hoops. Um, we're one day away from Selection Sunday. March Madness is here. But, man, do we have big news out of the NFL today. Finally, the day has come. Finally, at last. Justin Fields is heading to Pittsburgh. He is going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. The Steelers have been making trades you don't even see in a Madden video game. I mean, it's been that kind of offseason for the Steelers. They've been busy, you know, making moves, um, you know, doing whatever it takes to make their team better. This comes one day after the Steelers traded Kenny Pickett to the Eagles and a day after Russell Wilson made it official with Pittsburgh and as you know, there have been a ton of moves, you know, around the NFL. And one team that has been busy as well this offseason has been the Chicago Bears. You know, we've been having this Justin Fields conversation for such a long time already. You know, and everyone had their questions about, about Justin Fields. When was he going to be traded? Where to? Would he be traded? You know, I felt like you don't trade Justin Fields. Like, why are you moving on from Justin Fields so soon? I thought you would draft a, a receiver or a tight end or get some O-line help. And I've been saying this for a long time. I felt like the longer the wait, the more realistic that seemed that the Bears would actually hold on to Justin Fields. Instead, they failed Justin Fields during his time in Chicago and dumped him and dumped him to another team. And this is something the Bears do quite often, right? They ruin the careers of quarterbacks. And that's what they did here. Well, not quite. I, Justin Fields still has a chance to savage his career. One of the areas and one of the easiest ways I saw where they could improve was if they got Marvin Harrison Jr., have DJ Moore and Keenan Allen as a wide receiver trio. Or here was another option. Ryan Poles could have made a blockbuster trade to acquire Justin Jefferson. I was confident that Justin Fields could take a step forward and and help elevate the rest of the roster if the Bears got a solid O-line and a great defense. So for me, if Chicago was going to finally be this scary team nobody wanted to face, it was going to be because of a cohesive and solid offensive line. Last year, we thought this was going to be a terror, a terror, fine team, right? We thought this team was going to be a contender. Turned out it was a bad year for them. They they sucked. They were toilet water. I've been saying all this time, I didn't think you needed to draft a quarterback, especially now that you had surrounded fields with the proper talent to have a chance to win. And you turn around and you trade this dude. I would have liked to see what Fields could do with this new look Bears roster. And so, with a revamped O-line and these dynamic playmakers, you, you added Keenan Allen, and now you have a running game with established running back DeAndre Schiff, Swift. That should, I, I felt, should have helped with the development of Justin Fields, you know, but this team continues to do dumb things. It's, it's, it's the Bears. It's who they are. It's in their DNA. This team, they, look, this team is an offensive line away from being lethal. I, I, I kind of knew this was going to happen, though. All signs pointed to a Justin Fields trade. And I said this because of all the moves they've made. You just had to find a, a common ground for a Justin Fields trade. 
and even with all, and even with the with with details to work through, a trade was likely. You know, it was only a matter of time before they move on from Justin Fields. It was it was going to happen one way or another. It was inescapable. And I and and I said and thought the longer this dragged on, the likelihood that Justin Fields remained a bear. I'm actually disappointed the Bears moved on from Fields. I I, I think about what the ceiling would be for him, just how much better he can be with this new look offense. He has potential. He has a high ceiling. I think he goes to the Steelers and kick ass. I'm sure he's gone over film during the offseason and looked at the mistakes he made. Okay, this is something I can improve. This is definitely something I could work on. This is an area of my game I need to work on, you know, and I think I could be better next season. I, I think I can, you know, um, get better in those areas and, and, and be um, a starter in this league. But as we know, there has been much criticism of Justin Fields' ability to read the field or make quick decisions. The popular theory is he can't navigate a pocket or read defenses. The simple truth to me, with with the weapons he had, he might have been better. If you weren't so damn impatient and actually gave him a chance with a revamped roster, you know, but no, you want to draft someone like Justin Fields. I mean, you excuse me, you want to draft someone like Caleb Williams. Give me an O-line I can trust. To protect me. My belief is that Justin Fields can continue to improve, continue to grow, and continue to get better. For the Bears, it was a good time to continue to build a team around Fields. Has it ever dawned on the Bears that maybe the scheme was bad? Maybe the coach can't coach? And definitely... It had a lot to do with the fact that the Bears were just not well equipped to be the team everybody projected them to be entering last season. My point is not that I think Justin Fields is an elite quarterback because he's not by no means necessary. He is not a top tier quarterback, but realistically he can grow and he's only entering his fourth season. Not every quarterback is going to be otherworldly. Sometimes you just need a mid-tier quarterback to do just enough to lead the offense. We've seen it so many times in the NFL. We've seen below-average quarterbacks do some amazing things. And not everybody is built to be in the elite class. What matters is wins. It's all about the wins. How many wins can you tally? And if Justin Fields wins games, then I don't see a problem stand with him as your quarterback. I, 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 I didn't see a problem with them stand with him as a quarterback. The expectations shouldn't be that he has to be otherworldly or this flashy name, but I also think it's relatively logical to think entering what is it, your fourth season, I don't know, third or fourth, either in his third or fourth season, that Justin Fields can take a step forward and be that guy. If he's marginally better, maybe that's the difference between winning and not winning next season. That's one way to look at it. You know, it, it would have been ideal to at least see what Justin Fields could do with some weapons. You know, because you didn't really have anything surrounding him. You know, he walked into a dumpster fire. And you just threw him out there and expected him to be great. You, you had an opportunity to trade down, get some more picks, and build around Fields. Fields is flawed. I'm not going to deny that. But he can definitely up his game and be a quarterback one for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the future. Isn't that something? It's been reported that Russell Wilson will be the, the starting quarterback. 
But this sets up the Steelers nicely in the quarterback room. I mean, look, the Steelers got the better of this trade. I think I think it's a great move by the Steelers. You know, it says a lot about the front office and the moves that they've made this season. So now you sit him to develop behind Russell Wilson and you have your future quarterback in place. Let him wait and learn. This, this trade tells me a lot about how the Steelers operate just as much as it tells me how dumb of an organization the Chicago Bears truly are. You know, when you do something like this all because you think Caleb Williams is it, that he's the chosen one, that he's th that next guy, it is demoralizing that you were quick to give up on Justin Fields. I felt like, to be honest, I felt like Fields was the best thing the Bears had. So here we are saying the same thing about these Bears. They're doing what they always do. And I think now Fields is going to Pittsburgh with a different attitude, with a new mindset, with the intention that he's going to eventually get another chance to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. And he will get that opportunity with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think when you do a move like this, you have expectations for a guy like Fields. You're the Steelers. You believe he can be that guy. Maybe not right now, but down the road, He's, he can be that guy. But if you're the Bears and you did what you just did, you make a move like this, you're now on the clock. It's all on the Bears. It's on Matt Eberflus. It's going to be on Caleb Williams most likely as well if that's the guy they're drafting. You know, I feel sorry for the next guy chosen to be the, sh the quarterback in Chicago, whether that's Caleb Williams, Drake May, or whoever it may be. I don't, I don't, I don't know about this for Chicago. I, I really don't. As for the Steelers, they're not messing around. They're serious about contending again. Last season was, a, was an embarrassment. You know, it was a down year for them. They want to get back to being relevant again. They already got a great defense. They just needed to get the offense together. I wonder what Omar is up to next because it's been a crazy off year. And personally, I think Pittsburgh got a steal in fields. And I think it makes the Steelers a real contender in the foreseeable future. And if you're fields, you couldn't ask for a better situation. You go from an unproven coach to plan for one of the best and most experienced head coaches in the NFL with a great coaching staff overall. And then add the fact that he'll be sitting behind a veteran quarterback in Russell Wilson who will be able to mentor him and show him how to play quarterback in the NFL. This is a win for Justin Fields. The Roonies and the Steelers front office have always had a good eye for talent. This is a good move by the Steelers GM. And if things go well, Fields could conceivably be the Steelers starting quarterback. Not right now, but in years to come, he could be that next guy. This is a great chance for Fields to rebuke to to reboot his career and get a fresh start. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. Help me get to 1K. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the love and support. We'll talk very soon. Thanks for watching.